let's do the mock draft here because this is this is some interesting uh, fodder for conversation. You have um, the four quarterbacks going, so you do think uh, the Vikings make this trade for JJ McCarthy? I think JJ will end up somewhere in the top five. I don't know if it's one where Jim Harbaugh helps his old quarterback out and shuffles around. I, I don't know. I, on that, to you be mean, honest, you mean uh, trades out of five and yeah, gets McCarthy. McCarthy I don't because, know. I, well, I mean, here's here's I, I think they would trade out of five if Arizona sticks and picks and gets Marvin Harrison Jr. I, th- you know, if they get some sort of a uh, significant offer from Minnesota or we'll see if it's the Raiders. I don't know. The Broncos may feel differently because they got Zach Wilson. And I'm not, by the way, that's, I'm not joking when I say that, that Zach Wilson is just three years removed from being the second overall pick in the draft. They got him for hardly anything. But I think that, that Mar, if Marvin's not there, they'd say, do we take a Dunze? Do we take uh, Malik the neighbors? neighbors yeah. Everyone has Joe Alt. You know, Sharpie in there, but Joe Alt is a not a he's not a right tackle because they got Rashawn Slater at the left tackle. They're not going to draft Joe Alt and have him switch positions. Yeah, the, the, and Joe Alt was another one who who O line coaches just can't stop talking about to be that big to move that well. I mean, he's a former tight end. You're every, throw him at right tackle though. You're not going to do. I that. mean, is that a, that's is, what the Chargers is, would do? Is that is that underselling his ability at that point? I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's like. If you think he's the best fit for your team and you just feel like, okay, we can, because again, now you're talking about Jim Harbaugh and you're talking about a guy who had the best offensive line in the country the last few years. Is that the best value for there? Because obviously he knows what he has in Justin Herbert, but are there other bigger needs there that you can go get in the top five? Well, top I think 10? I think he, if, if I had the Chargers, if I could plug into their brain, they'd be like, we're staying at five and taking Marvin Harrison if he's there. If not, I think we'd like to move. That's that's the way that their mindset mm-hmm. might be going into this draft. But you 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 like McCarthy going fourth overall, huh? That would be something else. People like JJ. I think JJ and Drake May, both the the guys I talked to thought were a little more on the developmental side, especially Drake May, whereas both both kids are really athletic. They're, they're actually two guys, two quarterbacks in this crop who didn't transfer. Now, in fairness... They're also 21. And in fairness to Drake May, Mm -hmm. he had a big system change. He went from uh, Phil Longo, who now is the offensive coordinator at Wisconsin, but learned from Mike Leach and as a version of the air raid. And then he had Chip Lindsey came in and ran the offense Mm -hmm. last year. Very different. Uh, People... The stuff I heard was that the footwork was a little sloppy with, with Drake May, but that he cleaned a lot of things up and they saw big improvement from him at his pro day, similar JJ, I think, um, JJ doesn't get enough credit, I think, for his athleticism. You know, I think people looked at it and said, oh, he didn't throw that much, you didn't, you weren't gonna see it. I mean, look, there was a handful of games where JJ wasn't even playing much in the third quarter, you know, because they had pretty much said, hey, we're just gonna you know, bring our backups in at that point. Mm-hmm. So I, I feel like JJ has, and maybe now it's pendulum the other way, but I feel like JJ was getting kind of not getting the respect he probably should have gotten for a while. Again, um, he's really talented. He throws well on the run. He can extend plays. I just think that, you know, he didn't put up the numbers like a lot of other guys did. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 